Hello, Debbie Stone from DebbieStone.org. And I wanted to share with you today seven secrets to get your recruits to stick after you've recruited them. So let's dig right in. Number one, it's very hard to get people that you sign up to keep them if you don't believe in the system or the product. So in other words, you need to become a product of the product. If you're not using it, people pretty much or pretty quickly discover that if you're not genuine um, and stand behind your product or your system that you are marketing. Number two, if you're not generating a high quality lead, if you're not, if you're just going out and recruiting anyone and everyone that's not really looking for what you have to offer, it's far better to have less high quality leads than it is to have a, a lot or thousands of uh, what we call junk leads, so to speak. You get the point. Number three, have a congruent presentation that the people are seeing. Um, because if the people are confused and it's not congruent, then you will lose your people. People need to not be confused. They need to um, see congruency. Okay. So number four, make contact with them. And let your people know the best way that they can contact you. If that's via private message, which is the best way to contact me, um, I get back to people that uh, private message me in Facebook pretty quickly. Whereas if you were to call me, text me, email me, not so much. The best and fastest way for me is Facebook messaging and then followed closely by email. But um, I'm sort of old school uh, with regards to text and phone phone messages. I sometimes miss them. So let your people know the best way to contact you and be available. Number five, introduce them to multiple people within your community or your niche. Um, a lot of people sort of get scared to do this because they think that someone else is going to steal your recruit. Well, with MLSP and a lot of MLM businesses, once you recruit someone, that person is locked to you for life. So um, it's not, not the case that people are going to steal your recruit. And once you do introduce them and get them involved, uh, with a lot of people, it's far harder for them to to quit. Okay, number six, create a culture of supporting um, one another. Um, that's also another reason uh, that people find it harder to leave when there's a lot of supportive people and they're getting introduced to um, a lot of different styles of leadership. Um, you, it's sort of like wrapping your arms around this new person by introducing them to other leaders in your group, in your company. So, um, number seven leads us to the last point, and that is to go to events, invite your people to events. Um, that's another way to get them emotionally involved it's not always about making money. Sometimes it's more about the energy and the togetherness. Um, and it causes a culture, a community. It's sort of like locking arms and it's all support around this new person. So the sooner or the quicker you can get them to an event, the better off they will be in sticking around. So there's my seven points on how to get your new recruit to stick. Hope you found value. If you did, leave me a comment below. I'm going to have my blog site, debbystone.org above. Click the link that takes you to my blog. 
and there's a sign up button there if you would like to take the $10 10 day test drive to MLSP that is a system that will help you if you have a MLM business or a small home or online business this is the system that I use that have all the tools under one roof that will teach you how to market correctly so I will see you on the next one